may be seated. We're gathered here in the sight of God in the presence of these guests to join together Landon and Shelby in holy matrimony. Marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, Landon and Shelby come now to be joined. If any man could show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. This rite of marriage in which you two come now to be united, as in bonds of religion, is the first and oldest rite of the world. Celebrated in the world's beginning before God, the Creator Himself, sole witness, guest, and priest. And what it then was, it now is. All which I charge it on you here in God's name to remember, which also, as you will ever pray for yourselves, performing faithfully, your vows. Please pray with me. Lord, we do thank you for this beautiful time we have to come together. We thank you for these two, two lives that today will become one. We just ask your hand be upon us through this service, blessed with your presence, and bless their entire life, Lord, that you would guide them in the path you'd have them to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, and does not behave rudely. It does not seek its own, it's not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hope, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. Landon, do you take Shelby to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy state of man matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. Shelby, do you take Landon to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself unto, only unto him so long as the, of you both shall live? I do. Landon, please repeat after me. I take you, Shelby. I take you, Shelby. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Shall we now? Your turn. I take you, Landon. I take you, Landon. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Lan and Shelby will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and commitment to one another. Landon, as you place this ring on Shelby's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you and bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. It is a symbol. It is a symbol of my eternal love. Of my eternal love and my everlasting friendship. And my everlasting friendship. Repeat after me, Shelby. With this ring, 
with this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Of my eternal love. Of my eternal love. And my everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. We're now going to do the unity table. Landon and Shelby, through your words today, we've joined together in holy wedlock. Because you've exchanged their vows before God and these witnesses, and have pledged their commitment to each other, and have declared the same by joining hands by exchanging rings. Now pronounce you husband and wife. Let's pray. Lord, we are uh, again thankful, Lord, for love. Thankful that two people can come together and become one. Thank you, Father, that... that Landon and Shelby's paths crossed, and now they will, they will be united through the re remainder of their lives. May they love and support one another, and may they look to you for the strength in the times of troubles. We just also call out to the family and, that are here and part of this today that they would uh, step out and help when help is needed. And that's, this would be not only a unifying of two lives, but unifying of two families. We just thank you again for your wonderful blessings and continue to bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Landon, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. L Landon Spear.